Emmerdale spoilers, reveals shooting victim in Victoria Sugden siege storyline. Emmerdale was rocked in Thursday's, September 9th, episode when Victoria Sugden, Wendy Posner and David Metcalf were all involved in a terrifying armed siege in the cafe with newcomer Russ holding them at gunpoint. The episode was left on a cliffhanger after a shot was heard and those outside had no idea who had been shot, or how bad it was. It was revealed during Friday's episode, September 10, that David Matthew Wolfenden was the one who had been shot after he jumped in front of Victoria as she tried to disarm Russ, Rob Jarvis. As Russ began to insist David couldn't die as he wasn't going to go down on a murder charge and that Wendy had to help him, Wendy insisted he needed to be in hospital, but broke the phone when he caught them trying to call for help. Victoria then angrily asked David why he jumped in front of her and told her to tell Jacob and his dad that he loved them. He then admitted he had feelings for her before he passed out from his injuries. When Russ finally let Victoria get some supplies to help, Wendy tried to reason with him. You said it yourself, this isnt what you wanted, this isnt you. You're not a murderer, she said. It's too late, Russ replied. No it's not, it's not. He can be saved, you can save him. H has got kids, she sobbed. Don't make them have to bury the dad. Just when it was looking really bad for David, Victoria saved them by grabbing a fire extinguisher and knocking Russ out with it, giving the armed police the chance to come in and get David help. Later, while being interviewed by police, Wendy lied to the police about Russ' motive and said everything had been normal and she couldn't understand why he had done it, which Victoria overheard and was understandably fuming about. Russ' reason for arriving in the village was with the hope of seizing the inheritance money that his late mother left to Victoria's baby son Harry and he has been threatening them both about it. At the hospital later, Victoria, Jacob and Eric were told that David's condition has stabilized, but he wasn't awake yet, and they were distraught. Will David pull through, and will he remember what he told Victoria? Watch this space.